Well, millions of dollars in federal funds are being sent to southeast New Mexico to help restore a very important part of the state. News 13's Marilyn Upchurch has more on the new project. This is actually uh, a real opportunity for us here in the, the Pecos District. New Mexico Bureau of Land Management is receiving $7.6 million from the Inflation Reduction Act to help restore landscape and wildlife in the lower Pecos restoration area just outside of Roswell and areas surrounding Artesia and Carlsbad. The project, which covers more than 7 million acres, hopes to protect native wildlife, vegetation, and also prevent wildfires. What, what we're attempting to do is, is restore uh, these, these natural habitats and landscapes uh, to what, uh, what historically has been here. And so in this case, uh, uh, the project at hand right now is, is reducing uh, mesquite and allowing the herbaceous or, or take grasses uh, to, to flourish in these areas. Chuck Schmidt with BLM in Roswell says the project will encourage watershed and landscape health. While they have different areas along the Pecos River they are focusing on, one of their main priorities is restoring the habitat for different species, including the endangered lesser prairie chicken. Anything taller than, say, the native grasses, mesquite's taller and it represents a, a danger to them and they avoid that. Between different agencies, Schmidt says they already have the needed team in place. They have been working on similar projects, but this funding will help them take it to the next level. That's, that's really our goal. Is, is getting these landscapes healthy to where all, all species, in, including us, uh, are, are benefiting. Marilyn Upchurch, KRQE, News 13. BLM hopes the project will officially begin by the end of summer.